Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm gonna do my April reading stats. So <laughs> I didn't read that much this month. Um, I've, I've, I've said in other videos, I got extremely sick um, mid to the end of the month. I, you know, didn't read for five days, like at all, like, like didn't want to touch a book, which I did not. Um, the beginning part of the month, I had a lot of stress from work. So I didn't do a lot of reading for that or during that. And then also my weekends were super full because um, of family things that we were doing this uh, early in the month because I had uh, relative visiting from the Midwest. So we had a lot of fun, but I just didn't read a whole lot. So <laughs> when I go through my list of questions <laughs> for my monthly stats, they're kind of pathetic. <laughs> so just a warning. <laughs> so um, number one is how many books did, did I finish? I only finished one. How do I say this? So I finished one and I got part way through another one before I got sick. And that was not a really good reading month starting anyway, but it kind of went downhill after that because after I got sick, that was kind of it. So after that, I read three rereads. So I did finish some more books. They're just, they're, they're rereads. So how many books were physical? The book that I finished was physical. Actually, all the books I picked up this month were physical. I um, Question number three is how many audiobooks? I didn't read any audiobooks um, or listen to anything this month. I think I listened to uh, part of an audiobook for a couple, like an hour, one day at work, and that was it. I didn't, the rest of the month, I did not touch an audiobook, which is weird. Um, usually I have a little bit more than that, but I don't know. I go, I go through phases, I guess. So this month was just not an audiobook one. Uh, question number four is any graphic novels. So I <laughs> kind of forgot. I think I read two little comic book or, you know, comic book kind of thing. So I think I've read two or three kind of that kind of thing. Um, not, as I said, I don't uh, count them in my re books read. So I think I need to find a way to track them a different way because I don't remember now. But I know I got a couple books from the library, like graphic novels from the library. And I know I read at least one. I thought I read two. So that's my guess. But as I said, I don't count them um, on my Goodreads and I don't count it as books read. I just... But I want to say I do read some graphic novels and I got a couple more this month and I'm hoping to get into May to read. So, but again, I don't count them. I don't know. Anyway, I have a weird thing about that. I don't know why. Um, anyway, question number five is how many rereads? <laughs> Three of them are rereads, as I said. I enjoyed them and it was got me back to at least reading something and it was easier because I didn't have to think about it too much. Uh, six, any DNFs? Um, no, I didn't. I might have picked up a book or two and just kind of read the first uh, page and then decided, no, I don't feel like that. But really, I didn't have any DNFs uh, this month because I didn't read a whole lot. <laughs> um, how many were on my TBR? Like, when I put out my video um, in April, or around the first, um, I put down I was going to read eight books plus uh, the couple chapters of Bleak House that I was going to do for the Dickens along. So <laughs> yeah, I read one of those books and partway through one of them. So that's kind of pathetic. Um, how many um, books were um, from my library? And I, I didn't, as I said, maybe those graphic novels, I, I think there was two of them or comics. So nothing was really from my library. Um, but I do get to mark one off my TBR shelf that I actually read. So that worked out. Uh, question number nine, number of pages read. I only read 555 pages. Now, again, I'm not counting my rereads. I never do or the graphic novels. So that's just the books that I were new to me. That's all I read this month. So number 10 is what's the average page per day. My average that I would like to hit is 50 pages a day on average for the month. Yeah, mine was 17.9. So for me, that was super low. Now again, I did spend the last week and a half of the month rereading re stuff so I don't get to count those pages. But still, that is really low for me. And again, I have months like this. Everybody has months like this where it's just, you don't read a whole lot. And this was my month. I did not expect it to be that, that low. Although the beginning, I kind of wondered if something was gonna happen because I was not reading a whole lot either. Anyway, it just kind of went that way. Um, question number 11 is star ratings. So I'm only going to rate the one that I finished, which I gave a four. I gave a solid four on that one. 
so that was it that's kind of sad <laughs> but like I said nothing bad I just didn't get that far and then what genres did I read um again the one that I finished was literary fiction slash kind of magical really I don't know it's kind of a weird book anyway but so I was I'll say more literary fiction um then I read the one I got halfway through was a fantasy and then all my rereads were paranormal romances <laughs> And then um, question number 13 is favorite book of this month. Well, I mean, I liked the book I finished and I really liked the book that I'm in the middle of. But I would say if I had to give star ratings, it's going to be the rereads. Those are all books I love. So they were easy to read. They were fun to read. I love the characters. I love the world building. Yeah, so the rereads win. <laughs> Not a good one. And then uh, 14 least favorite or book that I finished or DNF'd or most disappointing. There isn't one. I didn't, as I said, I didn't DNF anything. I enjoyed the book that I finished. I was enjoying the book that I was got in the middle of and I didn't finish. <laughs> so I'm not going to answer this question this time. So there's nothing that bad. So that's a good thing, right? I gotta look for the one positive. So anyway, so then the last thing I'm going to show is kind of, I'm trying to show reading log to show how bad my reading was. So um, in March, which I did fairly well and got my reading count, I got, you know, pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. So it kind of shows how much per day. And again, I do a square for 15 pages. So it's not, I didn't overread, but I, I got over my 50 pages a day. I think it was just a little bit over that. So I did pretty good. I read pretty consistently throughout the month. There's just a few days where it just didn't happen or I was rereading something, so it doesn't count. <laughs> this is April. Now remember, I the end of the month I was rereading stuff so I don't count it. This is all that's in April. <laughs> There's a couple single lines with a page, a couple pages, <laughs> and the rest is... Isn't that sad? That's so sad. Anyway, so... um. May is a little better. I mean, I'm starting, just starting, so it's not not too much. I haven't actually done the last, I didn't do yesterday yet, but the point is, or a couple days, the last couple days, actually. Um, but April, so April was kind of wimpy, and that's kind of how this is going to go. So that is my reading stats to show that, you know, your reading goes up and down all the time. You never know what's going to happen when you think the month starts. You think, oh, I'm going to get all this stuff read, and... Sometimes nothing happens. So anyway, how guys, how was your reading in April? Was I the only one who had a horrible reading month? But you know, I'm gonna go forward into May. Hopefully I just wanna improve. And again, I wanna get my uh, 50 pages a day. Uh, average is pretty much all I, I, I want to get. Um, it doesn't matter how many of those books are actually read, but we're gonna try to finish a few more than just one. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Bye.